good morning now this is class 5 of uh, our uh, paper digital electronics today uh, we are going to learn about boolean algebra okay now boolean, boolean algebra you know it is an algebra of logic it was developed by george boole and uh, hence the name boolean algebra uh, today all computer devices and digital circuits perform operations with the two digits that is one and zero so these are called logical operations that is operations involving only the two digits that is 1 and 0 are called logical operations. Now the algebra used to symbolically or symbolically describe logical operations is called Boolean algebra. So what is Boolean algebra? It is an algebra that uh, symbolically describe logical operations. Okay. So Boolean algebra uh, allows only two values or two states for its variables that is either true or false that is in logic and either on and off states in the case of electronic circuit so the two variables of boolean algebra are usually represented by 0 and 1 that is every variable is either 0 or 1 that is in boolean algebra you can see only either 0 or 1 so logically we can write this as if x is 0 then x is not equal to 1 now if x is 1 then x is not equal to 0 so boolean algebra uses only three operations on its variables mainly plus that is uh, plus sign logical operation multiply that is represented by dot sign logical operation then bar that is negative sign logical operation so let us first see the plus sign logical operation it is called by the name or operation for example a plus b is equal to zero it means that if we are in boolean algebra you are not pronouncing it as a plus b is equal to 0 we call it as a odd with b okay so o a odd with b equals uh, here it is written as uh, 1 but actually it is 0 so a plus b equal to 0 means a odd with b okay now uh, so we now we are trying to put some values suppose that uh, a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 then consider the boolean operation that is a plus b equal to 1 in this case we can say a odd with b equals 1 so here in this case that is here we call it as a odd with b uh, equals 0 here we call a odd with b equals 1 that is uh, how we pronounce it okay so this uh, plus sign is uh, mainly named as or that is or operation is performed that is addition plus sign okay now uh, we are putting some values so here when a and b both are 0 then what will be a plus b 0 plus 0 that will be 0 again now when a is 1 and b equal to 0 what is a plus b that is 1 plus 0 1 then when a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 what is a plus b 0 plus 1 that is 1 then when a both a and b are equal to 1 then what is a plus b that is 1 plus 1 that is again 1 so it actually satisfies the addition process hmm? 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 is again then multiply sign that is represented by dot and we call it as and that is when a dot b is written we call that a is and with b this and actually represents the process of multiplication it is represented by dot so uh, here also we are considering the boolean expression a dot b equal to 1 here we say a and with b equals 1 now uh, for this to happen a and b should be equal to 1 because 1 dot 1 or 1 into 1 is 1 now uh, consider the boolean expression a dot b equal to 0 for this uh, that is a and with b equal to 0 uh, this happen in three cases that is when a is 0 and b is 0 what is a dot b 0 dot 0 that is 0 when a is 1 and b equal to 0 what is a dot b 1 dot 0 that is 0 again and when a is 0 and b equal to 1 what is a dot b 0 dot 1 or 0 into 1 that is again 0 next is bar sign that is actually represents not operation okay that is actually the complement that is if a is 1 what is a bar that is it will be 0 and if a is uh, that is if a is 1 then the complement that is a bar or the not operation then it will become 0 now if a is 0 then what will be a bar or a complement it will be 1 now some basic theorems the, they are classified into two groups that is single variable theorems and multi variable theorems now here uh, we will prove these single variable theorems these theorems actually refer to the condition when only one input to the logic gate variable 
okay now these theorems are given like this so this theorem you have to study by heart why because this helps you in solving some boolean uh, related operation so a plus 0 is a a dot 1 is a a plus a bar is 1 a dot a bar is equal to 0 a plus a is equal to a a dot a is again a a plus 1 equal to 1 a dot 0 equal to 0 a bar the whole bar that is one bar again then that will be equal to a itself so here you have nine theorems you have to by heart all these nine theorems because this will be very useful when you have to solve some boolean algebra related expressions now today we are going to uh, solve or we are going to prove uh, all these nine theorems but in today we will prove only six theorems okay so theorem one a plus zero is equal to a we are going to prove it as per as i already said the plus sign indicates or operation so in order to prove that we are making use of an or gate how is an or gate represented like this okay it will have two inputs that is a and b and let the output will be y so this is an or gate okay see here in the figure this is uh, the symbol for an or gate okay now uh, here one input is always at zero and the other input is a dot a and can be either zero or one so let us consider an example when a is zero so in this equation that is a plus zero equal to a we are taking this a as zero first then what will be this equation that is a plus zero will be zero plus zero that is zero and again that will be equal to a that is we obtain the value of zero what is zero actually a so the zero and zero what is zero plus or means it actually adds so here in the input we are having zero zero so output will be zero plus zero what is zero plus zero again zero this is the output okay now when a is one what happens that is in this equation in place of uh, a plus zero one plus zero that is one again a that is here one zero so what is the output one plus zero that is one so that is satisfied so combining this two, we can say then when a is odd with a zero equals say remember our operation is just like arithmetic addition with logic now the second theorem is a dot one equal to a that is you are performing multiplication or and operation for that we use and gate and gate is represented like this it has also has got two inputs a and b and one output y okay now we are proving this theorem that is what was the theorem a dot one equal to a okay let us write a dot one equal to a now we are going to put values first for this a you are going to put the value of zero so what will be this equation zero into one that is again zero you got the value of a so uh, the input is zero and one so output is zero into one that is zero itself now you are putting this a as one so what will be this equation one into one that is one this one one so one into one is one so that is written here it is just like multiplication next is a plus a bar equal to 1 okay that is a with its complement is equal to 1 we are going to prove we are putting this a first as 0 so 0 plus 0 bar will be 1 that is equal to 1 okay this is proved see output now we are putting uh, in place of this a we are going to put 1 so 1 plus what is 1's complement 0 so 1 plus 0 is again 1 see this proved and here also it is proved okay next the fourth theorem a dot a bar is 0 here also dot comes so you use multiplication or and operation so you use an and gate okay a dot a bar equal to 0 so first in this equation you put a as 1 okay take a as 1 so a bar will be 0 so what is 1 into 0 0 see it is correct now again put the value of a as 0 so 0 dot what is 0 bar 1 so 0 into 1 is again 0 see this is a output okay next theorem 5 that is a plus a is equal to a it is a plus a equal to a so here you are using an or gate why you are performing with the plus sign or or operation so you are putting the value of a as 0 first it's both input 0 that is here also 0 plus 0 what is it 0 itself that is 
output okay now you are putting the value of this uh, a as 1 that is 1 see both 1 so 1 plus 1 that is as I already said it is 1 so output is 1 so a plus a is a itself then the last theorem a dot a equal to a since here uh, we are using uh, dot that is multiplication so for that we use and gate here also first we put the value of a as 0 so 0 dot to 0 what is it 0 c root then we are now putting the value of a as 1 so 1 dot 1 equal to 1 c it is also proved so a dot a is equal to a so a plus a equal to so these up to six theorems we have proved so uh, study these theorems by heart because we can solve boolean operations with this so a plus 0 a, a dot a a a plus a bar 1 a dot a bar 0 a plus a is a a dot a is a up to this theorems we have proved so the next three theorems we will prove in the next class okay so for uh, uh, today this is enough okay thank you